I'm about to uh, take off in a few minutes. Here's a helicopter out there to Japan. Not the helicopter, but to Andrews. The, uh, anyway, <laughs> and to meet with leaders of G7. <clears throat> America. Can you see with President Xi soon, sir? That's my word soon enough. We will be meeting. You will be meeting or you will be speaking? And I'm proud of the progress my administration has made. We reduced the deficit in the first two years by $1.7 trillion in the first two years. Well, the great thing about that question is we've already have taken default off the table because the House Republicans passed a bill that raised the debt ceiling, limited our future spending, uh, saved taxpayers money by being able to pull back um, unspent money and waste and actually grow our economy by making our economy stronger and helping lifting people out of poverty into work. And so those are the parameters we'll talk about. It's disappointing that our discussions in the congressional Republicans have not been willing to discuss raising revenues, but the policy differences between the parties should not stop Congress from avoiding default. And I also want to thank our special guest, uh, um, uh, Michelle, uh, who uh, ensure that uh, today's uh, t- today is both a d- delicious and uh, a glott kosher. Uh, where I don't know where the chef is. There you are. Well, stand up, man. Now, let's say together, we are Emily. We, we are, are Emily. Emily. <laughs> oh. If you notice, I do whatever she tells me. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. The floor is yours. Thank you, everybody, for letting me crash. Better. No, you see it. Hello, folks. Get a good picture of all of us. We're having a wonderful time. Everything's going well. <laughs> anyway. What is it? I don't, I don't have any comment to make. We're just getting started. And we'll be available uh, at the sticks uh, when this is over. To that extent, yes, we do talk about equity. We actually believe it is a good principle, in spite of what some so-called leaders might try to suggest. We are proud of the fact that equity is one of our guiding principles, proud of the fact that we understand equality is important, but not everybody starts out on the same base. So it sounds like it might be right, everyone gets an equal share, and then they should compete, and the best thing will win, but that assumes everyone starts out on the same base. Equity takes into account that that may not be the case. We have entrepreneurs, small business owners who are working in the area of space, technology, addressing the climate crisis and understanding the the opportunities that exist there in terms of growing a clean energy economy and growing a workforce that has the skills and the ability to lead where we can be unburdened by where we have been.